Rich Hill finishing up his warm-up tosses. About to make start number 10 on the year. Everything in good shape. Nice ERA. A lot of strikeouts. Not very many walks. Of course, it's Marcus Semyon starting it off. Fastball on this one lined softly to center. And a weird read out there. That one gets past him and goes all the way to the wall. Marcus Semyon, round second, heads to third. They will stop him there with a triple. Zawinski. I don't know that I have a good idea what happened to him there. He kind of pauses and at the last minute tries to come in and make a shoestring catch. And I think he may have even been thinking about an inside the parker. Well, I certainly want to take advantage of that break that the Rangers just caught. Get this one across. Get on the board. That should do it. Deep in the hole short. Seeger has a chance to leg out an infield hit and he does. RBI for Seeger. And the Rangers, two batters in, have a 1 0 lead. And Lowe draws the walk. So the first three Rangers have all reached. Runners are at first and second. Nobody out, and that brings up Adolis Garcia. And that's popped up high into the air down the right field line. Santana angles out into foul ground along the track. He reaches out, makes the catch, bangs up against the netting, maintains his balance, and throws to third. Seeger is safe there just ahead of the throw as he tagged and advanced, and rightly so because Santana's falling away from the diamond, almost fell down, and his momentum carried him into that mesh net, which I wasn't so sure could hold him. So it'll be in the hands of Jonah Heim. Rangers have scored a run, but they, they want to get a little more out of this inning. And now a balk, and that's going to allow Seeger to score from third, and that's going to really fire up the lefty. Rich Hill is hot. Did not get a warning, which you usually get, and this is something else. Then Hill's got to be really careful, of course. Yeah, they said he didn't stop. He said he just continued through as he came up. He just, uh, he didn't come set. Wow, 2 nothing On the mound for the Texas Rangers, Nathan Evaldi, his nine starts this season, he has an ERA of 2.83, 60 innings, 61 strikeouts, 10 walks, and opponents are hitting only 227. Pair of hits for Kutch last night, 14 shy of 2,000 in his career now. Here's a 3-2. Swing and a line drive, laser to left. Grossman scrambling back. He can't get it. Hit too hard and off the wall. McCutcheon stands in the second with a double. He turned around 97 and blasted it off the left field wall. Andrew McCutcheon, and that, that's up and in to boot. And 97 up and in and, and just effortless. And Brian Reynolds is up. He hits the high heat well. So Valdi now, he gets a ground ball down to first. Diving stop by Lowe. Nice flip to the bag. And they get Reynolds. McCutcheon advances to third. But what a sparkling defensive effort right there by Nathaniel. He's a glove man. Even Young leaves a lot of room down the line there. And that allows McCutcheon to get deeper down that line with his lead. Here's a 2-0. And that's popped up. Seeger has a play on it. And that's a big second out because McCutcheon has to hold third. This one high in the air. Back of third base. Another harmless pop out. And the inning is done, and the Pirates leave a man at third base. Good start tonight for the Rangers, a 2-0 lead. Texas 2 and the Pirates nothing. Rangers come to bat against Rich Hill. Here's a 3-2. And strike three call. One out, up and in with a fastball. Already two strikeouts for Hill. Here's a 1-2. Right there, strike three call. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Hill. Looking, two men gone. He threw 91 right there. <laughs> Strikes out the side in order. He's got four. Must have made an adjustment, huh? Okay, so the count is three and one to Lowe, who walked on five pitches his first time up. <laughs> three one, Lowe loops one to center field. Swinski charging in. It's hanging up there. It one drops right in front of Swinski. It didn't hang up there enough as the Pirates center fielder froze initially, and that was probably the difference between him being able to haul that one in and the inning versus. Low coming away with a two-out single. So Garcia fouled out back in the first inning, and you know, he really has struggled on the road this year. And this one over third base, down toward that left field corner, and that one allowed to bang off the wall, low to third, and they will stop him on the Garcia double. Has the sign and is ready, and here's the pitch. Curveball head on the ground, two hops to third. Hayes angles to get a friendlier hop and throws across to get the out. And that ends the inning. Rich Hill strands two in scoring position. And G1 Bay, eighth in the order. The other way, and that gets down. Good start to the third inning. He thought about going for two. Bay steal 14 well, times. That's why he didn't go to second on this, is because he's because I'll just steal it set. And his oh pick off to first, and they got him. Well, that was close, but Bay picked off for the second out of the inning. 
They're looking to the dugout to see if they're going to take a look at this. Yeah, I'm guessing by Bay's body language. Oh, they are going to look at it. Bay did not have a real confidence. Roll on the field is out at first base. Pittsburgh is challenged. He was definitely going right there. Yeah, I don't know. That, to me, we've seen that twice now. Looks like they got it. After the review, the call on the field stands. The runner is out. Pittsburgh loses their challenge. Here's Brian Reynolds with one on, two outs. Rangers leading 2 nothing. Crank toward right center field. Well hit and over the head of the right fielder Garcia. And it stays in play, which is huge because that allows McCutcheon to score on the Reynolds double. And it's 2-1. to one. They hit that ball really hard to right center and doubles again galore for Brian Reynolds. Pirates look to take advantage of a miscue. And yeah, nobody out. Let's go. Santana, the runner at first base, and a ground ball third. Young to second one. On to first from Simeon in time for the double play. Five to four to three. Rangers go around the horn, and the bases are emptied. Nathan Evaldi after an error by Nathaniel Lowe. Gets a nice little ground ball or a little 5 4 3 double play. But take a look at what he does here. This is how you lead out there on the mound. He's going, hey, hey, I got it. I got gotcha. you. Now, Marcus Simeon, who struck out his first time, he swings and hits one to left center. Sawinski on the move and dives and makes the catch. For a moment, it looked like it would fall in. And he closed some ground in a hurry and made a diving catch, saving extra bases. That's the second out. And with the Rangers leading two to one, they have a leadoff man on for Adolis Garcia. And that ball's blasted down the left field line. Same spot where he hit it last time. Low into third base, and he'll stop there again. That's exactly how things went down in the third. And this, time it, and this time it was that curveball. Looked like Adolis was sitting on the curveball. Now the Rangers have runners at second and third with nobody out. Here's Josh Young. And this one lined over second. That's a base hit. Should score two. Lowe is in. Garcia around third. And he is in. A two-run single by Josh Young. And the Rangers lead it 4-1. to one. Now Robbie Grossman, he's had two very frustrating at-bats so far tonight. And this one lined out towards center, and it drops in. Base hit. Good read by Young, but it'll only make it to third. He held up for a moment to check and see if Zawinski would have a play on the ball, and it took off, but it, it was a little too late. We're a game for Hill. Yeah, not a lot of luck on his side in this one. Think about the ball that got past Zawinski to start the game and the ball call. When Tim Hires was pointing out to Bruce Bochy, and there's another balk, and that's going to get another run home. Grossman goes to second. Young scores from third. Second balk tonight against the Pirates. And Derek Shelton not happy. We'll take a look at this, but I think he ends up striding towards home plate and throwing to first. Watch his front foot. Picks up. Yeah, I don't think he, I think he broke that 45-degree plane right there. 5-1, Rangers on top. Bottom of the seventh inning. It'll be the heart of the order for the Pirates. And Avaldi goes back to work. Avaldi's pitch, swing and a miss. A fastball at 96. Santana goes down swinging. That's the third strikeout for Avaldi. There's a bunt attempt, third base side. Avaldi off for it and throws to first in time. And that completes a scoreless seventh. Nathan with only one walk here tonight. Been very aggressive going right after these Pirate hitters. Nathan making it look easy tonight against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Very aggressive in the strike zone. A lot of soft contact. Young, a big hit his last time up. He smoked the single over Bay into right center, and that played it a couple of runs. And that ball is blasted to left. And I don't think Reynolds or anybody's going to catch that. Into the second deck. Josh Young has homered again. And the rookie with his 11th home run of the year has driven in half of the Rangers' runs tonight. It's six to one. The sun setting here in the valley and on this game as well. Six one, Rangers leading. Delivers two and two and a swing and a miss. He gets a strikeout of Reynolds to start the ninth. His ball just takes off down and in and underneath the bat of Reynolds. Two two and that is strike three called. Back to back strikeouts in the ninth. That one on the ground, up the middle. Seeger to his left. Throws to first in time. Santana turned back. And Nathan Avaldi with his second complete game in less than a month. And he was backed by the offense of the Texas Rangers as they put up six on the board. 
including a long home run from Josh Young. 